subscribe to the channel. Uh, gonna go through a few games, a couple games that viewers ask, and then I'm gonna go through a couple games as well. Um, we're gonna go through the settings and stuff as well on here, so that way we can, uh, you know, show what you need to do. So we're gonna start over with Auto Modelista. This game run fine on here. I didn't have any issues out of it. Uh, and just for that, let me turn some of these settings off because I need to anyway. So let's go into the settings. System for Automolista. I don't even have to have on the clock on. I don't remember what I missed. Graphics. I can probably even bump them up to 2x. So we'll try that for now and see what, what happens. Alright, so we're going to test it with this settings, the normal settings, and I bumped it up to resolution of 2. So that should be like 720p resolution. As you can see, Auto Motor Leaf is under 60 FPS. Stop it there. So yeah, Auto Mode Lisa can be played at 2x resolution. No, no problem with the settings. Everything's normal. No E cycle. So yeah, Auto Mode Lisa. Yep, the game does run on here pretty well. Um, the second game that the guy asked for was Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, though, we will have to change from 2x resolution down to 1x resolution. But, as long as you got it at 1x resolution, it runs. stop because that means got to get me copyright I already know it so I'm gonna go ahead and edit through that little section mute that section but I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume off in here now if there's any way I can do it because there's no way I'm getting like copyright so we're gonna we're gonna turn it all the way off now we can play I hate to you know that I have to do it like this but yeah I can't afford to be getting copyrighted but as you can see, the game does run 60 frames. I'm not going to play too long with this. Um, 1x resolution, if you try to go in the higher. You might can go 1.5. Yeah, I suck at drive right now. But uh, if I, uh, 1.5, might you might can do something, but then you might have to start setting with the um, other settings. Now, it has some fluctuations here. That as you can see, it went up to it went from 60 to 39. I'm kind of driving all over the place, so I can kind of show you that it does fluctuate but for the most part it does run at 60 it just it, it does fluctuate if the emulator had you know more development time i think this game would run smooth 60 all the way through without even the issue but if i really wasn't looking up at that frame counter seeing that it jumps you know to 39 and stuff like that i really don't feel the slowdown in mid driving so honestly you, as long as you play it and you don't have the frames per second up top you really wouldn't notice the difference and of course, you know, this, it, the volume sounds great, but right now I got copyright music, so I don't want to, you know, get any copyrights. But yeah, Gran Turismo 4 does run. So we're going to move on because I don't like I said, I got no volume. I'm not putting music to these games, for plays for a little while. So yeah. Now, there's some games that are harder to me that might and might not run. Let's take a look at Underground 2. And if I'm not mistaken with Underground 2, I do have to change some settings which will be these right here to 50 percent and maximum underclock and i might drop the picture quality but we'll we'll hold out on that 
say it's running at 60, but I just don't see it. Now the story mode doesn't run bad like this. Uh, that is not great looking. It says it's running at 60. Like, it's starting to speed up a little bit, but not you know, to the point. So let's see if we can do some things in settings real quick. To see if we can alleviate the problems. So we'll drop the resolution down. Don't look great, but it's starting to drive better. We'll say that. If I drop the resolution down any further, it might even look better. I mean, it might look worse. It's gonna look worse, but it might even run better than this. So let's try to drop the resolution down. I don't recommend if you gotta drop the resolution this far down to play a game. It's not really worth it. Now, it might be some other settings in here that you can tweak, but I don't know everything about when it comes to these emulators. So, I just know from the small, simple things that I do. Uh, yeah, see, it's driving better now. I can actually see that I'm moving a little bit better. It's still slow. It's not as fast as it should be, but it's not horrible driving-wise. So, can Need for Speed Underground 2 run on here? Yes, it, it, it can, but at what cost? I can't barely see it. Luckily, like, something like this is a racing game that I can kind of tell where I'm going. But just playing this game, just to be, if it was some game that you need to read, oh, no, you would not be able to play this. Like I said, the only reason I'm going, fine. I'm looking at the map. I can see the map. And I kind of played this game back when I was a kid, so I can kind of understand where I'm going. But as you can see, yeah, you can play Underground 2 on here. Uh, just not great. Uh, we're going to go to the store mode and see if it does the same thing right quick. And then uh, go from there. But as you can see, Underground 2 will run on here just not in the greatest so i don't know at least in gran turismo 4 are harder games to run as well but i don't think they're harder than this game i don't think there's any game harder than need for speed underground series those games are running on the emulator they're the hardest games to run and this underground too for those that you know and the same is running that 60 but I just don't see it. Maybe 30. I mean, that race for like 30 frames. It wasn't lower than that, but definitely one higher than that. So like I said, if you gotta have the graphics this low, it, it's not really worth playing it. Not to me. And I will turn the volume up on this part because there ain't no music at the beginning part, but then I think music come on, so we're not gonna. Just trying to see how bad it's gonna be to drive in here. And then we'll move on to one or two more games and that's it. So as you can see, the game running, yeah, so it's not horrible. Alright, let's see if we can change the frames back. I mean the uh, graphics back and see if we can get a little bit at least one red time resolution in here. That's better looking. Okay. Alright, so one time resolution. Okay, it's not bad. It's not. Okay, you can play the story mode with one time resolution. Now, whether the races come out looking like how the race was earlier, I don't know. Now, this feels like 60 frames. Yeah, this feels right, but graphically, as you can see, it's not the best, but it's one time resolution. It's the native resolution of the PlayStation 2, so the games back in the day looked like this anyway, kind of. Now, see the city, yeah, this is not bad. And the city should be generating way more heavier frames than that race did. So, I'm going to say you can still play Need for Speed on here. I'm not going to say you can't. But, yeah, it's not the greatest, but it is running. Now, it ain't like Automobile Least and them guys run extra fine. But, so, yeah, you can you play Underground 2 on the S9 FE? Yes, you can. 
not the greatest, but yes, you can. Uh, we're gonna do one more. I got. I didn't check the Shadow the Hedgehog. I know that should be a hard game to run as well. But I know the Champions of Norraf is also another harder game to run. So we're gonna do this one, and then we're gonna call it for this video. We got a couple other videos that gotta be made this week. And so yeah. Oh, this game like it's running better. Beautiful with me. me. Running good yesterday. I'll be chasing. happier once I get off this accursed platform. go downstairs before I call this game player. Alright, so now I need to find the elevator. Which, I don't know which way it was. Yeah, I wanna check I wanna check the when we get to the bottom part before I call this game player because I, I don't I, I can't call it player but if it ain't like as you can see I'm getting pop ins and stuff. But it's not running horrible. I, I could deal with the pop-ins. Popping up. I mean, Sonic Frontiers did the same thing. I mean, and it runs fine. So that's the same exact example this going so far. See, now it's slowing down, as you can see. Still not horrible. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and use this right quick. Let me let me see what we work when we're downstairs. Cause see, it's up top. That ain't too big of an area. It's not bad, but it's not great. Definitely ran better than. All right, that's what I'm trying to see if it was gonna be slow down here. What? Uh, what? Uh, uh. It's actually not horrible. Ah, too many. It's not horrible. It's a lot of poppins. Yeah, so it's not playable, playable, but it's not. Like, as you can see, it got some spots where you can play it, where it ain't unplayable. I mean, I ain't gonna sit there and say this is the most playable game. But for it being one of the harder games, one if not the hardest game to run, it still I can still Oh my god, it tell me that crazy. Oh no, I'm not making it. Yeah. The reaction time was so slow on that. It's playable, but it's not in the best play, but it's laggy playable, so yeah, we're gonna So yeah, Auto Motor Lisa works fine. Gran Turismo 4 works fine. Need for Speed, it varies if you want to play it or not. It is playable, but it's not in the great, greatest condition. Same with Champions of Norrath. It's not in the greatest condition, so yeah. But I am impressed for a cheaper version of the S9 tablet. It is able to run a decent amount of PS2 games. Now, if the emulator itself would have still been getting worked on like it should have, then 
I think this tablet could play almost every game. But because the developer that made Aether Essence 2 stopped working on it because of the death threats and all that stuff that he was getting, uh, yeah, so that's development completely stopped. Hopefully one day somebody will make another one or make a different version. I know we got Play Emulator, but that one's so slow and the development team is not doing much on it. Um, hopefully one day maybe he'll change his mind on the open source to divide, uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. You know, only time will tell on that. But anyway, so there you have it. PlayStation 2 emulation is another set of games on the S9 FE tablet from Verizon. So yeah, if you have any other games you guys want to see, of course, feel free to put it in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, try to hit the video, get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Hopefully, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see, hope to see you guys again in the next video. Peace out.